got all my stuff out here that I need. The first time this is me really preparing for something. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you right through with it all, taking in different categories as it's spread out, and then it's all going in this. What I've got to go with me is the Van Gogh Explorer 60 plus 10. Obviously that means 70 litre in total. You get the extra little bit there if you need it on top of the, the main bit. Plenty of bits to bobs to stick on, two side pockets, two net pockets and the base as well. And in the base it's compartmentalised with the, the draw cord to separate the main bit from that or to open it up and have just the whole body. But the couple of cheap but useful <laughs> bolt holes will be less dropping and more proper use. First thing You'll notice, folks, as I'm wearing one of the, the base layers just now, the cheap and cheerful ones that I have is the high gear ones. Uh, I've got this one in red, I've got another one in blue, and I have one in black, which I think is in the washing. And I have a long sleeve one here in the grey. So uh, that's in terms of the clothing I'll probably be doing with the walking. In terms of the evening, I've got a bit more of an upgrade one. I haven't worn this yet. It's the wrap. One that was on the sale there and go outdoors at Christmas. The feeling on it is really, really soft and and uh, I think I'll probably be keeping this one at night if I need it in my sleeping bag rather than using it on the walks. That's them. Just an option perhaps a summer, less similar material to the tops is a pair of shorts if we get decent enough weather to wear. That'll be them. Uh, I bought a new pair of creek hoppers that were on the wall sale go outdoors. Uh, so they're fully ready and water repellent and obviously decently warm. Well used ones already I have is the black ones, exact same style. Uh, at night time, uh, just the uh, regatta fleece. I've actually had a grey and a black one, or at least a black one, I kind of see it fine. I don't only need one anyway for night time with the warmth, you can only wear one at a time at night, so just the one. Uh, in terms of the socks, I've got a pipe. A pair of uh, Northridge proper walking socks that I'll be obviously wearing. Uh, I've got a pair of thermal socks, and there's a few other bits there, just the normal thick socks, like sports socks and underwear I have, and that's what we take with me a few pairs of each. Moving quickly on. In terms of warmth, again at night time, I've got my duck down feather uh, wrap jacket, so that's that. Uh, the other jacket I'm taking, I'll show you over here, is the Hurricane, the Bergus Hurricane jacket, completely Gore-Tex waterproof, and I'll be using that uh, obviously with the bad weather. I mean, two minds whether to take this, it's a fishing top as you see, very light, but what I like is all the pockets. Whether I use that or not is uh, still to be decided. I like the idea of putting that on top of a base layer at night time if I'm putting it on, if I need anything just like flint steel or the matches or um, a phone even, something like that. So that's uh, that's an option I'm considering, but I'll need to wait to see how the rucksack's looking with the essentials first. Right folks, back over here. Trekmates Gore-Tex waterproof gloves, we'll need to put cold weather ahead. Uh, the waterproofs we're looking at here. I'm thinking about taking this cheap but cheerful and effective stormproof suit. Absolutely brilliant. Sorry, in terms of any weather, how brutal it is, it's been great. Downside, not very breathable, it's like a sauna suit regardless. But uh, the uncertainty of the weather forecast recently, maybe need to take this. So I've got that there. I've got unused, brand new gaiters that I'm taking as well to go over my boots and trousers. Trekmates, Gore-Tex again. Uh, found this, I've had it once from a uh, what, a festival thing, was that a festival? Something like it, and there were plenty of ponchos there. Grab this one, haven't been used it, and it's next to nothing. And if it's the case, there's just a little bit of rain in the base layer, around the jacket's coming out, simple goes over. So that's the option. Uh, I know they say the midges aren't out just now, but I've got it here anyway, and again, it's next to nothing in weight. There's a mosquito net, a Highlander mosquito net. Scottish midges are absolutely horrendous. So above, can you use a headscarf? Where is a bandana? Where is a ski mask? It's amazing what a little thing like this can actually do, and it's quite thermalised. So there's an option for that there. 
Other thing again, just cold with this old napper, and especially if it's sun or cold, is maybe just take a wee ski mask and wear that at night time as well. Obviously just as a, as a tammy or something, roll it up. And the thing that's keeping everything warm while I've got it here under the waterproofs is uh, the low spray rucksack. It's, it's extra large, it's definitely covering up. So that's uh, brand new as well, never been used. Let's start off with the shelter. My tripod. I'm using as a tent the Van Gogh Banshee 200, only been used once. So, and as well as testing my last video. Setup's absolutely fine with it, the poles are there. Uh, in terms of a mat, X bed down mat light 5. So uh, put that up as well as you've seen in the practice and back to basics videos. Great and it's minus 12 keeps you warm. Curiosity the cat. Well, <laughs> uh, so the Outwell Cloud 1600 will be my sleeping bag. It looks quite big and bulky and that's the way I'm getting in at a push. I do find it tricky. The other one I have is the North Ridge is much bigger, so this is the case that's bulky enough. So that's what I'll be using. The next thing I'm going to show you there for, oh I, as light as it is, I pound out the Poundland as an extra ground sheet. I feel as if like, for example, my video Back to Basics 3, I've got a blue one that I used under that, this is another one green. Uh, I just feel as if I can fit that in and as light as it is, it'll help with the ground sheet in my tent in case we end up in a rough terrain one night if a wild cam, whatever happens. I've uh, got some stuff today, plenty of coffee, this New York coffee 3-in-1, got a dozen of them. I've got the Nescafe, 7 sachets there, a couple of bags, uh, mockers. So what I'll do is mix and match, obviously take everything out of their containers, put it in the dry bags. Uh, just to take a few bags of... Uh, Super noodles, chicken soup, sashes, and a good old Scottish way of uh, porridge. Well, it's not Scots porridge, it's what I would normally take when I'm strict in the training diet. But I took the so sample with the golden syrup, and it's 10 sashes. I think, especially when you're out there, and whatever the weather's going to be like, and you're in your tent, make yourself a little breakfast or whatever, and the golden syrup will be flavour, so it'll give you a little boost in terms of feeling a bit better for what we're eating. Uh, you saw me in my last video, Back to Basics 2 I think it was, I tried the beef stew and dumplings, had to get another, and I tried an all day breakfast, like I say I've only had this once and that's all I've ever had of these, so a couple of them, my friend's also saying he's got a, a few army ration packs as well of food, want to add into this, in terms of cooking, I am using the Van Gogh, uh, compact gas stove. I had to get this replaced just the other day because the last one stopped working which I wanted to f film in the last video, back to basics 3. Using the Coleman gas stove which was replaced with that because of the problem. Using the high gear, cheap but cheerful as usual stove to go on on top but use it as a cup or a bowl or a bowl whatever. That's that. Uh, just went on cheap and cheerful Poundland again for the cutlery set as I lost the original one except for the fork and to light the fire I've got the little lighter working fine and the flint steel anyway and if I need so just a little windbreaker washing uh, I've got everything I need in terms of cleanliness and hygiene in there also got a new uh, medium sized micro towel obviously a camp towel and just some wipes in case of the uh, night you don't get a uh, shower that, it's good to get yourself quick clean before getting into the, uh, the sleeping bag for tonight. So that's what I've got there, everything I need. Say no more. Uh, high Gear First Aid Kit 3 as it comes, everything in it, never used. I've added in extra things such as uh, ibuprofen, deep heat rub, just in case. Sometimes I get my lower back or my ankles can to a wee bit swollen up and things like that, so I'm stretching off the next few days, uh, hopefully I'll be built a lot better because I know it's worked in the past. Uh, Neurofen, extra long plaster which is more already in there, and I'm probably more rather than cuts that'll be for the feet, you know, around the balls of my feet at the heels in case any rubbing with the boots, along with the tape, uh, more heavy probing. I'll obviously take all these boxes out and just put the sashy things in, obviously to save space. Uh, what's next? One thing I haven't used yet and I'm hoping that I want to take with me 
is uh, the brand new uh, GPS map 64S, the Garmin one. The next couple of days I'll be revising myself on how to use it with the computer and take all the walks from the Walk Highlands website onto it for the West Highlands way. I'm looking forward to really trying to use that for the first time. Yeah, that's my waterproof spray. I'll, I'll spray I'll definitely be putting that on my Bergus jacket. I don't think it needs it as far as now, but it can't do any harm in using it. Yeah, the next things here are just miscellaneous. You know, the night time you want to chill out in the tent, why not read a little magazine and what better than the great outdoors since we're on the subject. Sunglasses, hopefully I'll get to use them. Um, a head torch for night as well, walking about as well as maybe reading. Just extra miscellaneous, a couple of bungee cords maybe put around the rat rucksack in case I need extra things on it. As well as at night time maybe hang them up with a little bit of paracord I have and uh, dry off my boots or my tops. And the Osprey rucksack cover came in this little thing. Maybe find a use for it before going, I can fill it up with something else, we'll see. Maybe laugh at this one, travel eye shade and earplugs. I never sleep greatly in a camp. And maybe this will make the difference, with the light coming in or hearing too much noises. I've always got one eye open throughout the whole, the whole night in the tent especially, when you can't see anything outside. So I really hope they will be beneficial. Uh, this is where the magic will be happening, apart from my camera. Uh, the D3100 Nikon. I'll also be using my mobile phone and I get a new SIM card for it and that's my monopod. Uh, selfie stick, that'll be helping. Extra batteries for the GPS and the head torch. And this was just an old Van Gogh compact stove that it didn't take off me when I replaced it. So if I need that for anything, a container, you know, batteries or whatever else, it's there. Little things like that. Oh yeah, and water. And my main thing I'll be using is this, it's a litre high gear flask, it does the same job as any other, so, these, so that's that. Uh, and the thing that's getting me there are these boots, the Vibram Sole, it's the high tech, I think it's Landscape or what, Land, Lander ones, I can't remember. I've only, I only got them last year and you're lucky if I've done about 20 to 30 miles on it, with day to day walking and whatever else. Just breaking them in. And I tried them the day in the weather and everything seemed fine with them. And at night time to on my feet, just a pair of cheap flip flops I've had from whoever, uh, God knows how long. Uh, oh yeah, folks, almost forgot. Well, probably the most important thing to take in the rucksack is the dry bags. I got these off the internet, it's the Van Gogh assorted size and colours. And this is them here. This is how they came, clipped together. So everything will begin in name, plus I also have a large uh, 13 half litre high gear one as well that I got just for the extra. Other thing I'll be doing through uh, things, I've got the DD hammocks, you know I've got my hammock and tarp and whatever. So there's three bags there, I can also use as dry bags, you know, for the electrics or for food or used clothing, whatever it's going to be, everything's going to be assorted. And these three, six, seven bags in total to help me get 